What's up, guys and girls? This is Wampa Dude, and I have been taking a break from the big guy here, and I have a new project on the books. I have been approached by two girls to help them with their Darth Talon costume, and I am going to help them fabricate the armor. She has two different types of armor. She has the leather armor bikini and the metal armor on her arms, hands, and legs. Right now I am testing out different forms of wet forming for the leather, and here they are. Here is the foam head I will be testing the leather on. I'm going to be going over the bridge of the nose, the eyes, and the brow, because this is the area that I really like. I like the curves. I want to make sure that that leather can go around the corner, can catch the contour of the eye, can catch the brow, can catch the divot within the inside pit here, and keep its shape. Technically, I could have gone with the forehead because this fits better as this works better as a breastplate. I could have gone with the shoulder as an arm plate, but I want to put it through the test. So here's my first piece. So here is our first piece of leather. It is four ounce leather. It was put in 120 degree water for 10 minutes and let to soak. I put it over the mold, formed it down, and as you can see, it kept the it kept the shape very well. You can see when you look at them side by side that almost all of the detail has come out on this. I'm very happy with this. But as you can see, there's really no hardening techniques. It is still springy. But no matter how much I squeeze it and pull it around, it's keeping its shape. I really like this for the breastplates. And here is our second piece of leather. As you can see, it is much different than our original. It's got some of its shape, but it's got gaps. Now the difference between this one and that one, the method is almost exactly the same except for temperature. I brought this temperature up to 180 degrees. When you bring it to 180 degrees, it changes the nature of the leather. As you can see, compared to this one being springy, this one is now solid, almost a wood material. Now, we were originally considering doing this for the arm and thigh lip armor. <clears throat> well, folks, here's my two pieces. Yes, they both started out at the same size. Two totally different uh, results, all because of temperature. I hope this was informative. I'm going to go with this way. I like this. I like the ability to tool it afterwards. I like that it's still able to be worked. This one, while I really like the hard aspect to it, I think it's too unpredictable. As you, The shrinkage, the ability to work the edges afterwards. So for my project, I'm going the cooler temperature. I hope it was informative. If it helps, let me know in the comments. Favorite, subscribe, you know the deal with all of us on YouTube. Thank you very much.